primary campaign, his campaign was all about us. This is about you, this is about you. And the nation reported on it, I reported on it, people talked about it a lot. And it worked for him. That's what got people up to fight those caucus uh, fights and participate in the primaries. And to beat a Hillary Clinton campaign that a year before had been declared the winner before the contest even started. To beat back the Democratic Party establishment that most people never thought it could be. And then finally, at the DNC, you saw this country that was founded in slavery and whose election system is structured to defend slavery um, see one of its major parties nominate an African American to run for president. There were a lot of tears in the House. Also in Denver, though, I was there for Grit TV, you could see the thinness of the change. There was a figurehead change, structural change, not so much. And the thing that came home to me was we were doing our TV show from Free Speech TV, which is the oldest um, nonprofit community, nonprofit 24-7 um, cable station in the country. And they're based in Five Points, which is a historically black neighborhood in Colorado. The sort of Harlem of the West has the African American History Museum there. Um, once, a, once, you know, a few, ten years or so ago, a bit of a rough place, now really coming back. And that neighborhood was so enthused about Obama, you couldn't walk a block without tripping over somebody's mm -hmm. stall that was out in the street selling Obama paraphernalia. Yeah. Um, pictures of Lincoln re reconfigured to, to look like, to, to have Obama play the central role. Um, you know, pente cloth with Go Obama on it. Um, it was beautiful, but it, there were no people there. There were no customers. There was a festival, there was a jazz concert and a folk festival. Um, there were hip hop stars that came. No audience, except for the neighborhood. And finally I asked this guy, Brother Jeff from the neighborhood, What's the story? And he said, well, the DNC told the delegates not to come here. They said it was dangerous. And in that moment, you could feel the sort of change over here and over here, not so much. That we believe in the people and the people are out front and over here, really not so much. And what you've seen in the last few weeks is you've seen the campaign become what campaigns always become, which is about, in the end, the candidate. And you've seen, you've heard, I've heard some scary things.